What does it mean to be cold-blooded? No! Their blood is not cold. Animals rely on the environment to maintain body temperature. They are exothermic. Ecto means outer. Thermo means heat. Point color thermic. Cold-blooded animals include reptiles, fishes, amphibians, insects, and other invertebrates. This is called a D-net. We are using these to sample macroinvertebrates here at this wetland. This is a crayfish. What do you think of that? I love it. Is he hurting you? No, I just no. want to take it home. This is what I got. What is it called? A crayfish. Cool. This is dragonfly nymph. We also have tons of different kinds of fish. Fish are one of the most numerous of all vertebrate animals. This is a sunfish. This is a catfish. This is a large mouth bass. Some examples of reptiles are snakes and turtles. This is a box turtle. This is a painted turtle. This is a map turtle. This is a snapping turtle. This is a garter snake. This is a hognose snake. This is a black rat snake. We have lots of amphibians in Michigan, such as frogs, toads, and salamanders. This is an American toad.
This is a tree frog. This is a green frog. This is a mud puppy. Cold-blooded animals need less food because their energy requirement is less. Cold-blooded animals are not active in cold temperatures. They are also more resistant to diseases. What's the question again? I would like to be a lion because lions, if there's a predator you would um, like to, like, if there's a predator wanted to kill you, you, like, the lion could easily um, kill or hurt the animal really badly. I would be, be a lion because it hunts and it, like, it, it's very dangerous, so I would be safe. Um, I think I would be a fox because um, I think they're really cute and um, they get to eat a lot and they can hunt. Um, I'd be some kind of or before an owl or an axolotl because first of all the owl is 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 very good at hunting and it can and it's nocturnal and it, it can see through the dark and it can it can see all around itself and the axolotl because it, it's a fish it's an it's like a fish and it goes underwater so like I can go underwater and I could just stay down there and, and I would rest for a long time because it because when it because when the um, when it gets when the water gets ice on the top and that's about it. I like to be a sloth because I love them. I would be a duck because I love ducks a lot and I like how they can swim really well. I would like to be a stingray because they can camouflage on the bottom of the ocean. I'd be a horse because if there was a predator coming to get me, I could just run away. I could be a dog. Why? Because I could just be like lazy and lay around. I would be a lion because I think they're big and fierce and cool. Um, I wanna, I would be a mammal because they have live birth. I'd like to be a bird because birds can fly. I would probably have to get a weapon to, um, I would probably have to get a weapon to like kill animals, but not too much animals because I like the wild, but kill a few animals so then I could have enough things to eat. And I'll probably have to collect water and stuff so then I wouldn't be, um, I would, then I wouldn't be thirsty to death. I would hunt for me and like for, from deer so I could survive and get water. I'd set up my tent and I would sleep. 
I try to find some food or something like that. That wasn't actually me. I would at least try to build at least a weapon out of sticks or go in a cave and mine stone and get and get a lot of stuff. I try to find a wolf and try and tame it. I would find a campsite and hunt, uh, get a weapon so I could hunt animals to eat, fish to eat. I would build a big stick fort. I would build a shelter and build a fire just to start. Just get water so I could, because you can survive more without food. I would build a shelter to, to store all of my things. I would find a river that I can drink out of, try to make a structure to live in. I would like to live with a turtle because they're slow and they're harmless except for um except for um snapping turtles because they can snap someone's finger off. A snake because it it protects people, so I would be safe. Um, probably a, a turtle because um, I feel like they're a good pet and I feel like they're really cute. A snake because it's my favorite animal. I'd also like a fox. I would say a snake because it it could like I could spit poison. And, and protect myself from animals with, with like a pet snake. I like to live with a snake because I like snakes and how like they slither and like how they feel. Turtles because um, turtles are really fun to watch and play with. I would want to live with a snake because they're really cool and I would like, like to see how they survive. It would be fish because they're easy to care for and it doesn't they don't need a big living space, they need just a little ball. A snake because they're like soft and smooth. They're like, I just think they're interesting. I would live with a dragonfly because they eat all the mosquitoes. It would be a snake because they're super long and cool. A snake because they're so cute and cuddly. How do you, how does the snake make you feel? I love it. I want a pet snake. It feels weird. I Feels cool. How would you describe the way that his skin feels? It's kind of smooth, but kind of rough in some places. Well, that's a good description, yeah. It feels kind of squishy, but like. I keep on. It likes your pocket. He went in his Skin feels like.